Today, I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the hottest sports cards in terms of price growth over the last few months. Um, now, before we get into that, I did want to say a little bit about our membership program because our membership program has had a lot of picks recently that have really taken off in price. Um, and one of them being a Dirk Nowitzki's 1998 Topps Chrome that I recommended my Platinum members to buy for around $800 back in May. Um, most recent comp is $1,300. Um, they're constantly hovering between um, around $1,100 at shows and on all their marketplaces. Um, so it's kind of in between these last two sales, um, but still a good return on their investment. Investment. Another big investment um, that has really done well so far, and I still think has a lot of room for growth, is that on May 22nd in our ultra high end membership, we recommended our members to buy up Kawhi Leonard 2012 Prism Silvers. We've recommended this on numerous occasions, um, and Kawhi Leonard's Prism Silvers um, are up to around 8,000 already, I believe, um, and they're still climbing. So last sale is going to be $7,800. Um, so definitely a good jump on that, too. Um, so thank you guys. If you guys do want to join in on the program, the link is down below to sportscardsinvest.com. But without further ado, we are going to hop right into this video. So the first player that has really taken a jump recently um, overall in his index has been Wayne Gretzky. Um, we're going to come up with a little bit of a trend at the end of this video of certain cards that are really doing well right now and breaking down why I believe that is. Um, we do see some cards that have gone down and that is usually because of some really big sales or a, you know, kind of unicorn sale right here that I do not believe is a legitimate sale. Um, but the overall Gretzky market, I've been paying a a lot of attention to it and I definitely think it's a market that's going to mature a lot as hockey continues to become more popular in terms of sports cards um, and their television deals essentially. Um, so there's going to be a lot of growth in the hockey market I believe over the next few months. Um, if we look at his overall index there's some that are up around 14% on the month. If you look at their three month trends a lot of the three month trends are in fact down um, and that is because we saw a big dip in hockey prices for some reason in the month of July um, and we're starting to see a rebound so right now is what you're seeing and why you see the increase in price is because of this rebound um, now overall it's down for the last three months but as we can see here a lot of these Gretzky cards are starting to gain back um, you know a lot of attention so I definitely think it's a good time to be buying these up the pops are quite low on most of them um, of course his 1980 top is kind of like a second year card there's of course the main one, which is 19, 1979 Tops, um, you know, that's his rookie card that people pay the most attention to right now. Um, of course, the Opeachy is a better version of it. Um, but yeah, Gretzky's cards are definitely doing very well. Um, and another card going on those lines is going to be Mickey Mantle. Um, now, Mickey Mantle's big card sales um, have kind of been stemming from his SGC 95 big card sale that went down. Um, for an all-time record, and that has caused a total bounce in a lot of his cards. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of attention, especially at the National and other places, around a lot of his different cards that you wouldn't really see, um, you know, come up and be talked about a lot before. We're seeing the best growth in price on the higher cards, higher grades on in a lot of these cards. So the higher end market is really starting to pay more attention to Mantle. Um, and I think this has been going on for a while. Like just the fact that sports cards really came off um, of these iconic baseball players usually and just athletes in general that are just incredibly built into our culture and I think a lot of investors now are looking towards those cards um, we saw a lot of big sales out here um, just around different Mickey Mantle cards especially at the national I know a lot of people were going after Mickey Mantle's cards um, and so you're going to start to see more movement in his cards I personally believe we've seen a lot of older cards stay very stagnant for long periods of time and with an influx in demand I think there's going to be a lot of buying and buying and selling over the next few months over Mantle's cards so whether it goes up or down I definitely believe it's going to be more volatile definitely be careful in Mantle's market is what I'm personally telling a lot of people right now um, just because we're seeing price movements way too fast um, and I kind of want to wait this one out personally in terms of to see 
where prices are going to go because we're seeing some cards get beat up a little bit as well. So it just really depends on the card um, and the grade of the card because, of course, you know, people are looking for pristine copies of these cards. And that's why we're seeing in big auction houses like this, PWCC top percent, we're seeing some big sales for some mantle cards. Um, so without further ado, we're going to hop right into our next card that is doing very well. And that's going to be Bill Russell. Um, so, of course, Bill Russell you know, unfortunately passed away. Um, and one thing that happens, you know, when legendary figures like that, you know, move on from their time, um, is we start to see a lot of big Bill Russell fans and fans of those players um, really start to commemorate their cards, buy into their cards to hold for the long term, um, to kind of commemorate their legacy. Um, and so we're seeing Bill Russell's PSA 4. Um, this card has gone up you know, tremendously in the last three comps, um, you know, to pop 132, very nice, very rustic card to kind of cherish Bill Russell. Um, and, you know, just being the winner he is and the overall career and life he lived. Um, so I definitely think we're going to start to see a lot more movement in Bill Russell's cards as well. Um, but without further ado, we're going to hop right into another player, um, which is Trey Lance. And I know there's none on card ladder for this, um, but Trey Lance's cards have been doing incredibly well over the last, you know, honestly, the last few days have been huge for Trey Lance's cards since he made his preseason debut this year. Um, not his preseason debut, but, you know, his season debut, I guess you could call it, um, you know, for this year, this preseason. Um, and I definitely think there's a lot of hype now that the Niners have moved on from Jimmy G and they're moving towards Trey Lance. We're, start to, we're starting to see a lot of attention and just growth overall in his card market because there's a lot of hype right now going into next season. And it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how the season plays out and how his prices react to his play um, because it's definitely going to be volatile. If he has a big week one, week two, week three, I think his cards are really going to shoot up um, but at the same token if he has underwhelming play underwhelming starts to the season um, we're going to start to see his prices you know tail back a little bit so definitely interesting to see that um, you know I definitely think another player that I wanted to go over for this video was Babe Ruth um, you know Babe Ruth's cards of course have seen quite a lot of growth in most of his cards. Um, and I definitely believe that what I'm seeing right now is the trend is moving back towards OG vintage, you know, baseball for the most part is what I'm seeing. Some hockey, some basketball OG players that have really started to go up in price as of recent. And I think it's because a lot of investors are trying to take more of a long-term approach. And I think a lot of funds that are coming into the sports card hobby putting a lot of money into these vintage cards are in it to hold it for the long term. And I think if you're an investor, that's an incredible opportunity to buy in when a lot of the other people are buying in are holding for the long term. So supply is really going to dry up. Um, I think a lot of the people who are recently buying up these Babe Roots are going to be holding for years, if not decades. And if you have a pop 189 and you have hunt you know, 150 people holding it for the long term, you only have 39 to play with, and you have one of those 39, you're really going to start to see some good price increases. So I definitely think it's a great time to be buying up some of these players. You just have to be really careful and understand you got to get in at the right price because I personally would not be buying, say, a PSA 3 if it's gone up 15% from the last comp. However, if you can get a PSA 4 at the last comp price, now, that could be a good play. Um, so I definitely think you just have to really keep play it smart. Um, do your homework. I'm definitely not here for this video specifically to give advice. Um, you know, I do have my membership program, which is separate. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's a lot of cards out there. There's a lot of players out there that are going to see good price increases. You just have to play it safe. Never buy into the hype. Always try to find those good deals. Be patient with yourself because every time... People have rushed in to make purchases. It's never really worked out um, for their benefit. So I definitely think, you know, stay patient. Look for these deals. And I think you're going to see some good growth overall in this vintage market over the next few months. And then, of course, basketball is going to be back. Um, Preseason starts next month. Um, so, you know, good increases there as well. And then, of course, football is kicking off. 
So there's a lot of money to be made, but play it safe because at the end of the day, there's a lot of risky plays out there. A lot of cards that I personally feel are very inflated right now. Um, so definitely stay safe out there. If you would like to join in on the program, the link is down below to sportscardsinvest.com. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed and I'm out. Peace.